Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Parisno. Now, when we left off, we had just attempted to, well, rather miserably take one of the Redwood Nation's fiefs, and, well, suffice it to say, we failed pretty badly. However, as you can see, we have been offered by VV Zen Dynasty. Oh, yes. <laughs> I also had that issue once. Oh, yes, I did. And they are offering us a peace agreement. Now, we really do not want to do anything except accept this, of course, because dictating the peace terms absolutely does nothing for us. And they have no fiefs. So, we will be accepting because, of course, gaining a little bit more right to rule. I do believe that is nine. Nine right to rule right there. Very, very nice indeed, I have to admit. Look at that lovely banner that we have there, right there. That is such a cool banner, in my opinion. But there we have it. We have made peace. I am now at Lille, as you can probably see, because I traveled down from Vinegar. I thought it would be a good idea to stay at Lille, just in case the Zan Dynasty returned to exact terrible vengeance upon us. But no, no, they did not decide to do that, thankfully enough. So instead, it appears as though we are going to be having a couple of these guys. Oh yes, these guys. Not incredibly pleased about the Redwood Nation declaring war on us, I have to admit. I feel like that was a little bit of a backstabby move. Not incredibly happy. But what can you say, you know? What can you say? Sometimes the leader of a faction has no clue what they are getting into. Oh yes. And that means, you know what that means? Oh yes. That means that we are going to be dealing a significant amount of damage to the Redwood Nation and their armies. I am thankfully faster than this fellow, even though he has dramatically smaller armies. So, let us head in. There we are, thank you. And, oh. When last we met, you had me at your mercy and allowed me to go free. I hope you enjoy toying with me like a cat with a mouse, because soon I will have you at my mercy to slay or humiliate according to my fancy. So he's not really, yeah. He's not really liking us right now, not at all. So I suppose he won't mind if we attack him. 503 troops against 72 is going to be a rather... Impressive steamroll, I do believe, but do bear in mind they are going to be, well, they do have a couple of Bluewood Nobles, and I think that that is actually going to cause us a couple of difficulties, but this is actually a Drahara vassal? Oh yes, it appears as though it was, according to his armor as well, his armor was so blatantly Draharan. I don't know why I didn't notice that beforehand. Well, nevertheless, that's okay, that's actually pretty fine with me, because we have... 67, oh yes, 67 cavalry, we will be able to just run these guys down. And we will be attempting to take as many of those sandstormers as we can prisoner, because of course they do sell for a rather pretty penny, I have to admit, and hopefully that will then mean that we are just going to be rolling in dough even more. No, not donuts, but actual cash. Cold hard cash, oh yes. But we are going to make sure that that actually happens and hopefully not lose too many of our own units because we do, of course, want to try to expand our territory even further. And if that means taking on the Redwood Nation, then I do believe that is what will happen. So, yeah, I don't have much else to say right now because, of course, we have just absolutely decimated their population in this battle. And we are going to be victorious very, very soon. Hopefully I'll be able to take this guy out if I can. He got knocked down, unfortunately, so I'm having a couple of difficulties locating where he actually is. Well, nevertheless, I do believe we are perfectly fine, and of course our units are very much capable of a, well, of taking out anyone, pretty much, including a Bluewood Noble. Thank you very much. Oh, yes. That Bluewood Noble is going to sell for such a huge amount. That's very, very good. Nice, actually. Okay, we're going to take him prisoner. And I actually just forgot that that is a bad thing to do. Ooh, that was close. Yes, that was incredibly close. The Realm of the Falcon could have declared war against us right then and there, and that would have been a bad thing. That would have been an incredibly bad thing. So, oh my, I need to be a little bit more careful in future by the looks of things. So, you know what that is? You know why that happened? Because he insulted us at the beginning, and it was just like, oh... We have to take him on. And now the Realm of the Falcon is going to declare war on us. Just watch. Yeah? Are they going to? No? Maybe? Oh? It appears as though we might actually have luck. Ah, excellent. Okay. Well, as we know, we do have a Zan Dynasty vassal that is currently at our home base. And I was incredibly 
Ooh. I was incredibly tempted. I, yeah, I was very tempted indeed to actually go over there and accept him. Because no doubt he is going to be helping us a great deal. And Marcus and Xi Jin get along so well, I don't think throwing in someone else would make their relations go down too quickly. Or as far as I'm aware, they won't go down too quickly. I hope not, at least. Otherwise, yeah, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Okay, let's see if we can pursue this fellow. He has 151 available units ready for battle. This, oh my. Okay, wait a second. Hmm. That's unfortunate. They actually have Elvery Redwood Knights and Rangers. And they have a lot of them as well. They have about 20-something of them. Just with these vassals right here. That guy's going into Elsinore. That's excellent. So we can take these guys out, no problem at all. We just need to thin out the herd, as it were. I do believe that is going to be rather important. Suffice it to say, oh, I think he's getting in. Yes, he is. He just got into one of the places that I really wanted to siege. Look at how many prisoners they have. 131. They have Zan units as well. Assassins of Raul Dayun. They have demon lords and demon priests. And they have, of course, eagle units too, as well as some bluewood scouts. That is impressive. That is very, very impressive. Let's go to Etrosk Castle instead, though. Okay, yes. Tolranians and so on. Your constable upgraded zero. Oh, it's because we have no... Ah, we have no money in the treasury. How dare I let there be no money in the treasury. That's terrible. Oh, we're going to have to head back at some point. We are definitely going to have to head back. We also have no food. So this is going to be rather interesting, to say the least. So let us head in here. We are going to be building the ladders. And what is this? Your men make camp, and you notice something strange. A field of unknown types of mushrooms lay before you. Do nothing. I think it would probably be okay, actually, but I was just being careful there. I don't want to take some sort of damage before we head into a siege. So, let's do this. Oh my. Okay, this... Oh, wait. Oh no. I actually thought there was two ladders, but there's only one. Okay. Well, that might prove difficult. That might prove rather difficult. Do bear in mind, this is the Redwood Nation. And they are exceptional at archery. So, this is going to... Ow. Cause us to lose some very top-tier units, such as the Maccavian North Guard that, that was just taken out. I gotta say, I'm not incredibly pleased about that. Not at all, in fact. 16 archers. Let's put them at the back here. See if we can... Rival the Elvery a little bit. Unfortunately, that does not appear to be the case. Oh my goodness. As soon as we got closer, everything started to go badly. Okay, let's turn them all into melee units. Come on. I'm close to you now. You must attack. Yes. Very good. Okay, come on. Take him out. There we go. We took out a Shadow Rider. Thank you very much. I am taking a lot of damage. I actually thought I died there for a second. Okay, come on. Take out that guy. Oh, oh. Oh, we dodged. Did you see that? We actually took 21 damage, which would have literally killed us, but thankfully enough, we dodged just in time. I'm hopeful... Whoa, I actually just dodged again. That is incredible. Very, very nice luck, I gotta say. Come on! Oh, I got taken out by one of their lowest tier units. Oh, no. Okay, well, that's okay. We are absolutely fine, and I do believe we are going to be getting in here. You can expect that you're going to be losing a couple of units in each siege, especially seeing as our archery force is really quite terrible in comparison but of course we do have some Maccavian crossbowmen and they are going to be trying their very best and we really cannot blame them for any kind of misstep that we may have because of course they are using crossbows and as we know crossbows are not the greatest thing ever they have the very slow firing speed but of course they deal a good amount of damage as you can see we're actually even we are actually even. However, we are losing, well, not too many according to the death rate right here. Well, many of them are actually falling right now, but it is necessary. Is it necessary? I think it probably is, but this is actually making me feel like I really should just ignore the Elvery and I should just go away from their lands because, seriously, look at how many casualties we're suffering right now. Oh, it is not good. It is seriously not good. Wow, I'm actually wondering how we're going to take on the Redwood Nation later on. Hmm. 
It's kind of making me feel like I should just go completely all out in some sort of crazed berserker aggression against the Redwood Nation. Because if we do that, then of course we are going to be hopefully eliminating them before they become any more powerful, which is actually what is happening right now. They are just... Look at these guys. These guys right here, they are pretty devastating, as you can probably see. They're dealing so much damage. And, of course, they are just absolutely amazing at firing speed. Thankfully enough, we do actually have some of our crossbowmen here as well. Who are these guys, by the way? Who are these particular fellows right here? Brigands? Or vanquishers or something? Yes, it appears that that is actually the case. Oh, okay. Wow, we're actually losing more units than they are right now. Well, literally, no, actually not. It's actually even. It is actually even. Well... We're winning a little bit, but they are actually quite even with us, which I have to say I'm quite thankful that I did not try to take the other castle, because no doubt that would be just the most terrible idea ever. Okay, we're going to be retreating right now. I know, that is a very bad thing to do, but did you see how many archers they had there? Did you see how many archers? We are just going to be building our ladders once again, and we're going to be heading back in. Hopefully we'll be able to... Hmm, somehow do something to make it a little bit easier for us to get in. But we will see in just a second, I suppose. And upon loading in here, as we can see, we only have 50% HP. Uh, yes, we only have 50% HP, but we do have a newly acquired shield, which of course is what we will require here. Now, many of these fellows that are currently shooting at us, oh, it kind of makes me wish that I was some sort of elf right now. Hmm. Maybe we could use these Redwood Nation units a little bit more, but yes, I'm a little bit worried. Okay, so we have 17, 17 archers. We have a lot of marauders, which are actually dealing some pretty good damage right now. The Elvery High Elf Sentinels, as well as the Duskfall Riders, I do believe are actually the ones causing us the great... Oh my goodness, the great amount of difficulty right now. Look at my shield! My shield is about to be destroyed, look at it. Look at how many arrows it saved us from. I cannot believe it. Okay, nope. No. Okay, I'm going to try to stay in here to prevent this fellow from doing any bit of damage. Whoa, okay. Well, I suppose, what can you say other than ouch? Well, I suppose that's actually okay because they only have 35 units and we have 90. So I think that we are going to be completely fine. Because the main reason why I wanted to retreat is because this right over here was littered with archers. They had at least, mm, I don't know, 20 to 25 maybe? Archers just standing there and absolutely pelting us as we came up the slope here. So yeah, you can imagine that that would have actually turned into quite the bloodbath. Something a little bit more severe than what is actually going on right now. Let us follow this demon lord. Oh my. He definitely showed that Elvery Ranger who's boss. Now, let's just actually follow this guy. We're going to name him... Hmm. Let's name him Gary. Okay? This guy, Gary, he is going to be making his way through the castle. And we will see what kind of adventures and mischief he comes across. Oh, it appears as though many of the archers have already been... No! They're taking Gary's kills. I cannot believe that. That is a little bit unfortunate, isn't it? Do you have anything to do now, Gary? No, not really. Oh, that's unfortunate. I was really hoping to see him in action a little bit further than that, but... Well, yeah, as you can see, he has actually sustained a lot of damage, too. He has arrows in his left arm, in his left leg, in his shield, of course. And he is quite the beast. Now, let's just hope that he actually does get a little bit of action here. I think that would be quite fun. Ah, he is. Oh, look at this. He's the only guy coming around to flank them. Come on, take him out, Gary. Come on, don't get killed now. No, no. Yes. Yes, come on, Gary. You can do this. There we go. He actually survived. <laughs> that is a lot better than what I was able to do, of course. Uh, okay. Well, there it is. We did lose 20 more units, but I do believe completely worth it. We are going to be letting this guy go, of course. And this is exactly the reason why this was worth it. We can now take as many units as we so desire from the enemy's prisoner's hold here. Because, of course, 
that will then almost, almost take us back to where we were previously, which is pretty reasonable, I gotta say. We're actually getting some really good units just from rescuing prisoners, which I have to say is actually pretty good. Look at these war prisoners. War prisoners are actually quite expensive to keep in our army. Goodness me, I had no idea. Well, let's take some caravan guards. We may as well take every single one because, of course, we do have the space. And we'll take these enemies as well. Oh my! Elven Archer Armor, look at that! That's actually really nice. My goodness, I didn't think that we would get something so good. Okay. Well, we are going to be deferring appointment of a lord for now. Because, of course, we do want to give this to our Zan Dynasty vassal, which I hope we will be acquiring rather soon. So, without further ado, let us level up Allendale a little bit. Let's get him some more intelligence. I do believe we want to improve his engineering skill maybe a little bit more. There we are. Okay, because we currently have engineering, but he has a lot more intelligence than we do. So, I think it would be quite good for him to become the next engineer. I think that would be really nice. So, let us wait here for some time and rejuvenate ourselves. And then we will see where the Colmar Castle is. Uh Relatively similar to this one. I'm a little bit dreading this right now because, of course, Etrosk Castle only had one vassal inside. And as you could see, it just absolutely... I have no idea. It just absolutely destroyed us, really. It was... Wow. Really quite impressive, i got to say. Hmm. I think we might actually want to leave here rather soon because we are going to be losing... Quite a lot of morale from the fact that we don't have much food any further. Lille has also been besieged, so we're going to be heading back there, of course. I did just click on that, which is actually quite good. We can head over there as quickly as possible. Now, it appears as though the Zen Dynasty is actually quite defeated right now. It appears as though many of them are being defeated in battle, and they are not really doing too much in the way of anything right now. Oh my goodness. Do you see how many units they have here? Okay. Let's see... Let's see what we can do. Okay, please give me food. I'm just going to take the meat as well. Usually I avoid the meat because, of course, it does get rotten. And I do really, yeah, I don't really appreciate that that much. So, okay, that will be it. Can we find a ransom broker in here just to lighten the load a little bit? Just before we take all of these guys prisoner, of course. And I believe that we are going to find one. Maybe. No, that's a traveler. That's unfortunate. I actually thought that that was a ransom broker. That would have been really nice. Okay, well, nevertheless, I do believe we are going to be talking to Vithriol. And we are going to be getting 15 mercenaries. Thank you very much. Okay, is everyone okay here? Yeah, everyone is okay. Unfortunately, no ransom broker, but there is a traveler, so I could... See, Elsinore. Oh, yes, if we were able to take Elsinore, then that would have been really nice. But unfortunately, nothing close by. Nothing close by right now. So we are going to be waiting here for some time. And we will see what the enemies decide to do. There's a great host. Oh my! Look at this. Lord Yuan has renounced his allegiance to the Zan Dynasty and joined the Reformian Rebellion. Excellent! I'm actually really pleased about that. Two! Zan Dynasty vassals have actually joined us. I am really surprised about that, I gotta say. Okay. Well, I'd like to wait until daytime before I start attacking. Who is that? There's actually a... Wait a minute. Who is that? Oh, that is actually him. Okay, wait a second. Hello. I'm gonna accept you. There we are. And, yeah, we're not fighting him. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Okay. So can I actually head in here and speak to my people? I don't believe I can. There is a spy master. No, it's because I don't own this particular fief that I'm unable to do that. That's really quite unfortunate. Please don't run around with 11. Oh, he's running around with 11 units. Oh, who's that? Hello. That is Lord Marcus. He's running away. Lord Xi Jin has a huge amount of units. Oh, wait. I have a quest. I have a quest from Lord Marcus. Come back. Okay, I guess we're all gonna pile on in here. Okay, so yes, we are ready to join you. Very nice indeed, and we are defending against these particular fellows right here, so let's go... Well, wait a minute. Let's accompany Marcus, and we'll see what he wants to do. He, he wants to head in here. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, this is quite the devastating fight for this fight to handle. For this fight to handle? No, for this guy to handle. What? What am I saying? Okay. But yes, that's a rather devastating fight for this guy to handle. And we are a little bit too slow, so we will be unable to do anything right there. And I suppose what we can do, if Marcus does not ask us to do anything in particular, is take out some of these vassals, perhaps. Ah, they have wandered too close to my trap. Oh, yes. Rush to the aid of the caravan. Thank you very much. 576 against 79. That is going to be a little bit of a walkover, I think. But I do believe it is necessary to thin out the varieties of vassals that the Redwood Nation currently has access to. And they are going to be charging us straight on in here, which is a little bit worrying. How many cavalry? Oh, we only have 33 cavalry. Why do we only have 33 cavalry? Uh, I suppose we're helping the cav... Oh, well, the caravan. Yes, we are helping the caravan, so maybe that is the reason many of their units are going to be included in this fight. Okay. Take him out. Nope. Yes. There we are. A Duskfall Rider. Hmm. I'm hopeful to see, actually, how much they are going to be selling for... Oh, my. No doubt these guys are going to be some of the best horse archers that you can see in the game. Apart from Jahara, of course. But, yes, these guys do appear to be rather powerful. Oh, no. Come on, that's the Lord himself. That is the Lord. I know it. Oh, never mind. It's not. It's actually an Elvery Redwood Knight. Oh, my. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Wow, they have a huge amount of archers. Oh, my goodness. Well, I suppose, what can you expect, really? Oh, oh, no. There's too many. No, don't get stuck. Do not get stuck, please. Scout Striker Wilkins. You have the anti-superglue formula. I, I don't know what that means. I do not know what that means. Oh, no. Here we go. We're okay. There we go. Thank you. That is very nice. Yes, come on, let's go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You may have a good sword, but I have a good mace. If I can actually find you again, considering all of our units are attempting to take him out. So far, so good, though. Yep, so far, so good. It appears as though... Whoa, that caravan guard actually dealt a pretty significant blow to that fellow right there, I do believe. And there it is. Can we actually ride their horses? Yes, we can. Ah, oh. okay. Must not have much riding skill then. High Elf Sentinel there as well. Okay, well there it is. We actually only lost two units to death, which of course is rather nice. We are taking a little bit too long, in my opinion, to actually take these guys out. But what can you do, I suppose? <laughs> you know, you take what you can get. And I do believe that is it. Yes, it is. Thank you. So 7 Morale is definitely going to help us out right there. And, well, yeah, some relation with our own faction really not going to be too useful. But, yes, there it is, nevertheless. And we will now, oh, yeah, be taking many of these units prisoner. I really want more. 51 is really not enough, in my opinion. But what can you do? Okay, so without further ado, I am going to be ending this episode off here. And next time on Prisno, we are going to continue our small skirmishes around the town of Lille with the Redwood Nation. We might actually decide to go for Grunwalder Castle if Lord Marcus is in the vicinity. Or maybe we will head to Kalmar Castle if there are no other vassals stationed there. So, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.